What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to the walkthrough. Apparently, all it was is the rifle wasn't potent enough, and I had to hit him with a hand cannon. So, anyway, bring a hand cannon to the encounter. Let's wrap up and move on to some side missions. が待ち受けようと Pretty dope movie. Anyway, let's talk about Ho, the new guardian spirit. Um, so as for things you can get off of him, obviously you can get his set. Uh, you can also get uh, that the move he did right at the start that I pointed out, the crazy blade dance that actually uses the holy sword. You can get that as an ability. So pretty cool ability. We also pick up the Sato Taisho core, which basically puts a big wall in front of you that blocks stuff using Benkei. So, interesting one, but not all that good if I'm being honest. Uh, now, one of the things I want to point out is that we got a semi or flute from finishing that. I would highly suggest you go ahead and lock this. This is the accessory that's needed for his set. And if you're going to ever run this set, it's going to be a pain in the ass to farm one if you don't keep it. So grab it, take it, put it in your storehouse, whatever the case is, do not lose it. Um, the Kuroma Sword Dance, that's also a, another one that we get from him. Uh, where is it at? Obviously, we don't, we don't have it right now. As you can see, there is no move just called Kurama Sword Dance that we have accessible. Uh, but you can farm that off of him along with that, that uh, unique skill or the the you. Uh, blah, 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 the, the energy blade skill. God, I was trying to remember, remember what it was called, which actually I could show that off real fast just because we, we do have some time here. Managed to get it to drop on my other save. What's interesting about it is the skill actually uses up anima, so you can't just spam it as much as you want. Eventually, it'll just be a basic attack damage ability. Um, but the Kurama Sword Dance one is pretty good. A lot of folks have been been big fans of that one. Uh, the other one, Sacred Bird Cry, is the the unique one that uses your special sword. So.
This one's Kurama Sword Dance. So kind of, as you can see, big follow-up does a bunch of attacks and some kicks. And then we have, oh, it's Dragon Fang. Where the hell is my... I know for a fact I have it on this guy. Just not seeing it. That's true and through. That's Karama Sword Dance. That's Dragon Fang. I thought it was up near the top. But now I am not seeing Sacred Bird Cry anymore. Maybe I just got Kurama Sword Dance and not the Sacred Bird Cry, and I got him confused. Because it's definitely a, uh... Nope, there we go. There we go, Sacred Bird Cry. I knew I had it! I'm sitting here, like, going out of my mind. Like, I know for a fact I farmed this on up. So, pretty cool L1 and Triangle. Uh, you don't even need to have a katana to use it. You just pull on out your blade and do a bunch of damage. Uh, so, pretty, pretty interesting ability there. All right, back on over though, back to the walkthrough. Actually, while, while we're here, let's just, uh, for Banky skill roar, all that does is it charges up and it throws on out the split staff. Good for bonk and stuff that's running away, but those are the, the three skills that were added in uh, in this DLC, the new hidden skills. Now, moving on from here, um, the rest of the DLC is actually pretty straightforward, so probably only, only going to have uh, two more episodes here to, to knock it all out. Maybe even one, and we might be able to knock most of it out uh, just in, in this episode here, because we have a boss rush, we have one mission that's slightly lengthy, um, Prisoners of Stone being probably the, the longest one, and then an encounter among the Blossoms somewhat long. So anyway, let's just jump into it, so... We'll do this one first. It's a gesture from it, and then Prisoners of Stone gets us a Blue Dragon Spirit, which is a solid pickup, so we'll jump into that right after, but this one's real fast. some of these points here. There we go. Alright, so going over to the left first, right around this corner, we can pick up a Scampus to bring along with us. Uh, this essentially will have... Well, actually, I had it for New Game Plus, but it's it's three waves of enemies. Um, I had written down uh, Baby Cyclops, Umbrella, Bume, and Kiryoki, so we'll see how accurate that is. So far, it's pretty accurate. Baby Cyclops, do we have Umbrellas? Alright, good. So it looks like this doesn't change much between this and New Game Plus. Karaoke.
Right, next one is elemental heads, uh, a fart rat, uh, a popo, and a tengu. Before we... this is the one that we open after this one, yes. God, we got sucked up by the new Peppa. We might be dead here. Oh boy. No! Oh my god. Gotta be careful around that blobby boy. He is a, uh... Made it all the way there just to be swallowed by a new Peppa and spit out like garbage. Feels bad. Thankfully, um, as with all of these these boss rush type things, uh, you, you know, after you finish a wave, that's it. You don't need to redo that wave. So you can just go right back in. And oh, it's beautiful. Oh god. Oh god. Now you know why I put confusion on every target I can. It's a little bit safer this way. I don't gotta worry about new Peppo uh, deciding that he wants to suck me out. Of God, new Peppa, please don't do this. No! No! Oh my god, no! No, God, new Peppa was terrifying for some reason all of a sudden. No! Oh my god. I think it says we're fighting him in a tight area here. It's just no fun fighting him in a tight area. Drop your soul pool. new Peppo battles. So run back this way, drop down, get a Scampus.
So you give me a big area to fight him in and the pepper wasn't terrifying anymore. So I had to buy enough time to put them in a position where I could get that off. Oh, Sakura,に見とれ。気づけば、あやかしに囲まれておりました。おや、その他も長き流浪の最中と見える。物語の行く末。So for those confused, this is, uh, this is the Katana Bro, but the young version of him. Before he got all old and just looked like he had little balls hanging off of his shirt. here we'll knock Banky's out and we'll probably wrap the episode up there and then do uh prisoners of the stones as its own since that one's slightly longer if i hadn't died in the boss rush it would have been fine but unfortunately so anyway go up here talk to Banky. Benke. apparently the way i pronounce it sounds like toilet in japanese that's what someone told me i think it's supposed to be Benke. I call him Banki. But anyway, talk to him. We now have a mission to duel him, and this is the mission where you're going to want to farm the smithing text if you want his set. It's just going to be a one-on-one -on -one duel. You can repeat it over and over again. Way, way, way more efficient than doing a boss rush in the middle of a mission. It's also worth doing because we're going to get a guaranteed divine version of both the weapons that are needed for uh, for the Mighty Monk build. So in the event that you want to run Mighty Monk, that way you just got to worry about farming up the smithing text for the armor and you already have your weapons in tow. Which is pretty nice. Oh my god, thank you, no. Banky, I need you to behave. Oh, I don't, I'm not even getting enough. Oh, jeez. He just has, like, super anti-weakness.
No! Ah! See, what I need to do is get lightning up on him at the start with this build. But after we, we wrap up these episodes, more than likely I'm gonna switch things over and do a katana build with the set that we got. Um, mainly because in the poll for what I should use for the walkthrough, everyone was like, oh, dude. Well, dual blades was the highest, and the second highest was katana. So I feel like it'd be fun to set up to do, uh, do katana for the next set of DLC. Keep being grabbed by that. Oh shit, I just realized I don't even have enough anima to, to do my counter. There's nothing I can really say there except that that's just embarrassing to get him all the way down and not be able to finish the job. So this is why you can't go in with just like half cock sets. a you know what here we're gonna do this the easy way um what is it at
Just had to abuse confusion. So yeah, not the not the cleanest kill of Banky by far, but getting up confusion made a big difference. Which I think part of that is I I play so much on a higher level build where like I have the anima gain, I have the health gain, and then coming back to something like this, and it's uh, very very uh, sharp contrast in terms of how potent you are in combat and how much you can do. But at the same time, I mean that's kind of the purpose of the walkthrough. You know, that's what. Um, what most people are going to be experiencing if they decide to jump straight from main game into this so either way we're going to wrap up here um as i mentioned if you want to use banky set after finishing that mission we have both the split staff and the stones bane they should be divine guaranteed so go ahead and same thing as before lock them that way you have them if you ever want to use them so we're going to close out here though we have one more episode which will look at Prisoners of the Stone to get the Final Guardian Spirit for this DLC, uh, and then we'll do Tale of the Tyra and Bond of the Blade. So stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all soon enough as we wrap things up.